Hey, hi, good morning. Hello, good morning. Okay, I got your profile for evaluation and now I'm going to evaluate you. So before that, I have provided you a code snippet uh, in chat box. Can you share it? Yeah, I have copied it into Notepad++. So this is the snippet. Okay, so you can see the code snippet. Uh, it has uh, some lines of code. So what you have to do, you have to identify the mistakes which are there in this code. So there are around five mistakes which are available in this code. So you have to tell me each mistake. Okay, so in the below code, there are uh, five mistakes. Find, find mistakes. All right, so I'll scan through uh, uh, the code line by line and I'll try to um, uh, give you the mistakes. Uh, the first mistake I see is in line number one, um, where the package name has a uh, hyphen. And I think uh, in Java, package name with hyphens are not allowed. So uh, package name with uh, hyphen is not uh, allowed. So this is the first mistake I see. Then at line number three, uh, I see there is one more mistake. Uh, in the program name, uh, the class name, uh, there is a white space. And I think Java identifier cannot have um, uh, space as the as the valid parameter or as the valid uh, character in the program. So white space white space is present. White space is uh, present. This is the second mistake that I see. Then at line number five, uh, there are uh, two mistakes. Uh, first thing is in the main method, a uh, public keyword is missing. So this is the third mistake. Uh, public keyword uh, is missing. And uh, on the same line, I see uh, the size is provided uh, in the in the arguments array. So we don't have to provide size in the main method. So size is not required. Uh, size is not required. So this is the fourth mistake. Uh, okay, and uh, uh, the fifth mistake is for uh, viewers. So audience, uh, you can please comment. Uh, you can spot the fifth mistake in the code, and then uh, you can uh, comment your fifth mistake in the comment section of this video. So these are the four mistakes uh, I have spotted, and fifth one is for audience. Yeah. So these are the uh, four four mistakes. No. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, you can uh, write a program to count the number of digits in a number. So you can take a number like one, two, three, four, five, and you have to count the number of digits which are available in that number. So one, two, three, four, five, these are five digits. So you have to print five is the count of digits. Okay, okay. So uh, let me open uh, this. Uh, so first thing is I'm going to take integer number. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, as you mentioned. And uh, the simplest thing I could do is uh, string. Uh, I'll convert this into uh, string. So string str, I'll do uh, integer. Uh, there is a convenient method known as two string, and I'm going to pass i. This will give me the string representation of uh, the integer. And uh, I'm going to print out um, the length of the string. So str dot uh, length. So uh, by using inbuilt function, uh, this is the simplest method I can I can uh, count the number of uh, digits in a integer. So the number of digits I can count is five using this method. Yeah, but you converted this uh, integer number into string, right? You don't have to convert that number into string. You have to uh, use only that integer number. So you cannot use inbuilt method like two string. That will just give you a string, and you can identify the length so that uh, should not happen you, is there any other approach by which you can do it uh okay so i don't have to convert to string uh, in that case i'll i'll use uh, i'll try to use loops here so uh, let me use while loop and see if i can achieve this uh, while uh, what i'll do i'll try to uh, divide uh, i by 10 and then count the number of digits uh, using while loop so for uh, I'll check uh, and I'll iterate over i until it is greater than zero, okay. And I'll also declare one uh, variable integer count. So count will be initially uh, zero, 
so this will count the number of digits in my uh, integer so while i is greater than zero what i'll do i'll do uh, count plus plus okay and uh, i'll do i equal to i uh, divided by 10 because whenever i uh, do count plus plus i want to ignore uh, that digit for the next iteration that is the reason i am dividing uh, the number by 10 so consider this example 1 2 3 4 5 or uh, i come into while loop and uh, i count the first digit which is 5 and then i divide by 10 so now what remains is 1 2 3 and 4 in the next iteration i'll again divide by 10 so what remains is 1 2 3 so this way i'll uh, keep on incrementing the count and keep on dividing the uh, number so after the end uh, at the end when while loop terminates uh, whenever i is uh, zero while loop will terminate and uh, i'll get the result in count so i'll, I'll try to print uh, sys out and uh, i'll try to print uh, count and just to make it clear i'll add six as well so the length should be six okay uh, may i run this program yes you can run it let me run this program uh, you can see uh, the length is a uh, six of the mm, number and i haven't used any uh, inbuilt functions for this okay perfect uh, that's it for me i said do you have any question uh no i don't have any questions uh thank you and uh viewers please uh, comment the fifth mistake in the comment section uh, thank you bye-bye yeah thank you bye bye